Hey shooters, we're out here on the range today doing another diagnostic drill for Shooter Summit. Um, this one is a variation on what I call the sweep. If you go to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to find uh, one there I have where I use a plate rack and a shotgun, which is a much more appropriate tool and target in that particular uh, drill. But I sweep the, the muzzle from one outside the uh, array of targets all the way across and pick a particular target, one, two, three, four, five, or six, and try to break a shot without stopping the muzzle as I sweep across that horizontal row of plates. And I'll go from you know, left to right and right to left from 10 or 12 feet out, sweep all the way across, never stalling, slowing down, or altering the muzzle speed. That is key to this drill. So as you work your way across, you pick say, in your head, I'm gonna take a third target, and you hit the fourth target. That means you're pulling the trigger late or your muzzle speed's a little too high for your ability level. Alter one or the other, not both. And as you come back from right to left, same thing, I'm gonna shoot the first target on the, on the right side, at, or the second target on the right side, and you hit the first one. So you're pulling the trigger a little early, you're a little premature. So those are ways for you to continue to work on your timing, and it helps you with transitions. Now, I'm gonna do it on a 10 yard paper, uh, so the sweep, but I'm gonna do it with a handgun, because a lot of us are handgunners, and this, this uh, podcast is really aimed at the, pun intended, aimed at handgunners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start I don't know, probably six or eight target widths to the left and sweep directly across the target and come back the other way. And again, as we know, there's a turret. The feet are locked into the ground and you're gonna be wor working away from your knees all the way to your shoulders across the target. Trying to keep that uh, nice uh, firm grip and the, you know, the triangle, the, uh, the iso isosceles triangle up here. Or if you're a weaver shooter or whatever, whatever your technique is, whatever the du jour, whatever you happen to like, work your way across. And what you're going to do is, it's again, a diagnostic tool. This is one of the things I've learned early on. That if you can't self-diagnose, you can't self-rectify. It's almost impossible. So I use this as a, as a means to force you to take a shot when the sights are where they belong on the target where they belong. So you have not just moving sights, which you would if you're just trying to shoot slow fire. You have a moving gun working across the target without the muzzle stalling in any way, shape, or form. So you're having to take a shot as not just the sights are moving, but the gun is moving. And what that'll show you is, uh, it'll show you timing to some degree. It'll improve your transitions, no doubt. But what the, the idea is, is to see if you are welling up any kind of anticipation or flinching, or you're applying a, a pre-ignition push too early. Because uh, too early, you'll move the gun off target and then break the shot. And it happens so, so that those, the, uh, the time frame between those two things occurring can be so close together that you can't recognize you're doing it. You might see, oh, I shoot low all the time. I'm flinching. Well, there's flinching and then there's a, you know, a pre-ignition push. If you're, you have to be able to, at, if you're shooting really fast, you need to be able to equalize the energy discharge of the firearm between the ejecta and the reciprocating mass and the energy you put into the gun to balance it out. Uh, think of a fire hose. If you take a fire hose and you hold it four feet back from the front, and you fire them in, no, you might do this to the new guy, hold it four feet, back, four feet back from the front, and then fire it up, that nozzle end is gonna come back and take off for, you know, next county. And it might hurt somebody in the process, so it's probably not done in any frequency. But either way, if you just stand there loosely and let the gun go, it's just gonna continue to climb. So we apply energy to the gun to balance it out. So. Again, I'm getting off track here, but the drill is designed to help you analyze your mechanics to some degree, but mostly how you're manipulating the trigger in a very short time compression. You don't have any time. That muzzle's moving across that target. If you want to try those bullets to land somewhere in the A zone, you have to take a shot then, 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 then. You don't have time to play around. So I'll quit talking, which I'm rather good at. And uh, we'll break some shots on this 10 yard target with my CZ Bull Shadow. So again, I don't know, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five or six target widths to the left, and we'll work our way across. I, I exaggerate, I slowed the muzzle down, I felt myself slow the muzzle down, I don't want to do that, don't slow the muzzle down, 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 don't slow the muzzle down. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots, two Charlies. All the rest of them are alphas. Uh, and two of them are premature shots, and one of them, I think was shot like five, and you can probably watch the tape, um, was a low shot. And I felt it. I recognized that uh, I pushed the muzzle down a little bit as I'm taking the shot. So now I know that's what that is. 
Again, it's one of those tools that allows me to really concentrate on the fundamentals and recognize what's happening if I'm misapplying those fundamentals. That is the sweep on paper with a pistol. You can do it with a pistol caliber carbine, you could do it with your AR-15, and I really highly recommend uh, you don't do it with a shotgun unless you want to do it with slugs, which I don't find a whole lot of, there's a little value in that, no doubt. But use a plate rack if you can, or a set of poppers, or clay targets, or something with your shotgun. And as you work this drill, be more and more aggressive with your muzzle speed. Because if you do it slow and you're nice and accurate and you keep speeding it up until you th fall off the, uh, you know, fall off the wagon a little bit, get yourself back on and work yourself back into it. I think you'll find a lot of, uh, it pays a lot of dividends over the long haul. Because again, if you can't self-diagnose, you can't self-rectify. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Talk to you later. Bye for now.